mark here guys uh, this tutorial is going to be applied to one of uh, one of you guys that asked a question you watched uh, some of the video co-pilot uh, tutorials which are awesome I highly recommend them but this young man uh, watched uh, the demon face tutorial and was having trouble with uh, some of the items there on the uh, tutorial uh, I did go back and review it and after watching it it was kind of confusing you know you had a track and then you had to do like a reverse track and mess with the uh, the resolution and, and, and the aspect ratio and this and that da, 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 da. so I was like alright there's gotta be a better way there's gotta be a better way and uh, I came up with a pretty good solution a pretty easy solution uh, we will be using an expression so this is what we'll be doing right here as you can see, bah, liquify is uh, sticking with the face. And on this occasion, you know, it's definitely an improvement. I mean, uh, I wish I looked like that all the time. Definitely uh, an improvement on uh, the other look there. Uh, oh, man. I hate looking at myself. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so first you want to grab your footage, import your footage, file import file find your footage uh, mine's right there I do have it already input you know, click on it hit hit open or find it wherever you hit it once it's in the uh, project file here click on it drag it down to create a new composition and voila new composition um, what we have to do first is track the uh, video so we have to find where we want it let's see Start right here. Start right there. Hit B, and uh, that just trims it right up to there. Right where you want to start. B for beginning. And I'm gonna end it right there. I'm gonna hit N for the end. That just trims it up there. You can also hold down Alt and bracket. See, it brings your comp down there. Trims your video. My computer is it? Oh, begin bracket. Trims it right there. So we have to track the footage. So if you don't see this little tracker right down here on the right, you can right click on the footage and there's track motion near the bottom. You can also uh, come up here to where the hell is it? Animation and track motion as well. So we're going to track motion, hit track motion. We want to do uh, rotation and position, so click that down. So I get it right in the middle here. All right. So now we want to uh, see how the cursor it changes. Nothing there. You got that little, you know, black uh, box, and then you have that which will just move the point. You want to get that there, and then it's going to highlight and find the corner of the eyes and like. Andrew Kramer said you want to make sure that uh, your model's face stays uh, square to the camera. All right. Square to the camera. All right. Up here. All right. So these outer tracks right here, you want to try to get them. So if you're going to go left or right, you want to make them long so they go the next frame they can get it easier if you're going up and down you want to make them tall and so on so now we want to track it uh, forward they're under here so I'm in the middle analyze forward then you can watch uh, make sure they don't move otherwise it'll throw off everything alright boom 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 they're going to go out of whack right now okay well, that's the end super back uh, we hit page up up page down till we see a move boom and move right there so then we want to analyze backwards and then uh, clearly we're getting a pretty good track here and boom perfect all right, so now you want to create a null object to hold this tracking information. So layer, uh, new, 
no object, okay? Now, we want to edit the no object with the tracking data. So we hit edit target, no 4, make sure it says no 4, hit OK. And now we want to uh, apply, which is lower here, apply X and Y, yes. Okay, so now we have the tracking data and that red square should be stuck on the eyeball. There we go, see? So that's what we want, that's butter, right? Nice, nice, that's nice. I'll break you, Lord, I'll break you. All right, so we're cooking now, we're cooking, we're cooking. Now, what we want to do is uh, we want to get that liquify. So type in your effects and presets, liquid, or liquify, I'm sorry, or you can just LIQ, and it'll, it'll come out. And uh, we want to take liquify and apply it to our footage right there. The problem is, okay, if you do it now, it will not stick. It'll it'll move all over the place. So the workaround is this: the mesh offset, okay, is basically uh, what keeps this particular effect uh, in a specific spot. So my thought was this: if I can make that particular point follow the track and be stable then so should the effects on that liquify effect stay on the face and track with the track data that we have alright so what you want to do is get the uh, you want to click on the null 4 and you want to hit the letter the number P for position okay now go back into your layer alright now you have the you want the null position to be showing hold down the alt key and click on distortion mess offset grab this pick whip go up here and go on to the position boom so what that's saying is I want this uh, mesh offset to go on the position of the null object okay and what that's gonna do alright if you go like this make it Oh, funky dory, and it should stick. See how it sticks? It'll stay there. And that, my friends, is how we do it. So what we're gonna do is, let's see. What's this one? Oh, this is the big eyes. Big eyes. Make it look—he's out, been out raving all night. Oh man, that's a big eyeball. Better to see you with my dear. All right, so basically, do whatever you gotta do. I'm just gonna do crazy. So what's this one? Bloat. It's not really bloating shit. How's that fucking blow? Alright, that's what I'm looking for. Once you've got what you want, wish this should be all good. Nah, right there. Now you don't forget you got the distortion percentage. So we got 100 right now. And when he's got it closed, go down to zero. So they come up. Ah! Back down. Zero. Oops. One hundred. There we go. Boom. Back down. So then we got this cool cat here. And this is all just because we uh, made the mess offset position. Uh, parent into the null to the tracking information we had. So now it's going to follow it. Ah, well, I'm, down. Ah, I'm not done. Ah, I'm here for your daughter, Chuck. Alright, so here we go. So boom. Ah. Ah. 
All right, so obviously, obviously, when he goes here, he's just got some issues. He's got to, he's got to get to 100 faster. I mean, that should already be at 100. Oh, Jesus Christ! Listen, it's late. All right, so that should already be at 100. We got that there. And then you know the rest. You just take uh, layer, new, layer, I'm sorry, new, adjustment layer on top. And then uh, use the ellipse tool to uh, make a mask uh, to apply the green. Hold down shift. Click on it, and then that'll get you to your points. Like this, and then bring that down here. I'll delete that. Hold that down, and uh, make sure to, uh, if you're doing this, you want to make sure that uh, you click on. Uh, let's see, mass path, and then you just add effect color correction uh, curves and then you can just knock out some of the reds put some greens in there put some blues just like that alright and then you hit uh, while you're on adjustment layer T you frame that, you turn it right down, page down, whoops, sorry, this computer's going to be a lot faster in a few days, alright, let's see, keyframe, ah, okay, so now we want this at 100%, and then uh, we want to, uh, Hold down Alt, move that over, and we also need to uh, M M. So M. Uh, we gotta feather it. I just hit F, feather it a little bit. We can turn off the mask and see what the feather looks like. Turn it back on. We know we got some adjusting to do here. Adjust the masks here. Suckers following the right path. Come on, sucker. I'm just paging down to move ahead. And then once it's done. You want to hit T and uh, keyframe that, move that down to zero. All right, and uh, you should have this for your end product and this is uh, for the uh, user that had the question about the uh, demon face and the liquify uh, question about uh, having trouble having it stick to the person's face this is a uh, easy quick workaround for that uh, question alright and uh, yeah so this is pretty cool workaround. I'm pretty pleased with the workaround. There you have it. All right. This is Mark. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Peace.